Ego I open up with thousand message of Jesus Christ written by bringing to you and ten revelations of messages of Christians from across the world. Behold, I come quickly. Be ready. Hello everybody. I hope you are all are having a blessed day today. And today I wanted to talk about a, a rapture experience that the Lord gave me a couple months ago. Um, and this pretty much happened. I was in my room just watching videos on YouTube about how brothers and sisters were having their own experience, like their own dreams and visions on the rapture and stuff. And that kind of made me eager for one. So I remember going outside and just praying to the Lord for a type of confirmation that the rapture was upon us. And so the next morning I was kind of like half awake and I remember I heard this like um, horn and uh, the first time I heard it, it didn't really bother me. I kind of just tried going back to sleep and ignoring it. But it was the second time it sounded where I thought that the rapture was here. And um, I remember first just thinking that I was going to leave my family behind and that's just something tough to think about you know just thinking about your family being left behind here for the like them suffering through the tribulation and that kind of like made me sad but then for the most part i remember just like being so surprised just thinking why out of all the days today why would the rapture happen today i just didn't understand i was so so surprised and I think the Lord tried to show me that no one's promised tomorrow. Like, we honestly don't know if the rapture the rapture can be right now and we wouldn't know it. And, like, for some that may be scary, for others that may be, like, joyful, you know, to know that you're going home. But, I don't know, for the most part, I just, like, for a lot, especially in this road, I think it'd be scary. Because we know that when the rapture happens, guys, after Jesus takes his chosen, it's going to be complete like chaos on earth and you guys do not want to be here for when that happens i cannot stress like i cannot stress that enough how bad it's gonna be it's gonna be the darkest days in human history darker than world war ii darker than world war one darker than anything human eyes have ever witnessed and i just can't exaggerate that enough and yeah and so just guys please get right with god before it's too late give your lives to christ because you really don't want to be left behind when that happens and yeah and um you know like imagine like how god feels seeing this world like how bad this world is you know all the things that are happening in israel and syria all like children are dying god children are dying you know there's so many christians being persecuted suffering through so much pain and sometimes you're like i'll go through like good things and i'll be like oh wow the if the rapture happens you know this and that like what about like getting married and all that and i hate that i do get caught up on those worldly things but then i think about all our brothers and sisters who are being persecuted who are being killed and who are being tormented and then i'm like dang like I, and then just seeing the world the, the world news and just saying like just thinking to myself you know the rapture has to happen or else like all this chaos won't ever end and yeah so just please give your lives to God before it's too late so that you can be sure whether if the rapture happens today tomorrow next week you can you can be sure that you'll be raptured and be taken up um, with God's elect and um, something else I wanted to share with all of you guys is um, a dream that I had, a, I don't know, like a couple months ago, I'd say too. And um, pray to the Lord to understand this dream because for me personally, I thought this dream was from God. But then my aunt told me that this dream, there's no way it could have been from God. But just pray to the Lord that you can take it as he wants you to take it. And... So I remember I was in bed, I think it, w it was like in the middle of the night, and I remember I was sitting up, I was like, yeah, sitting up, and all around me was pitch blackness, it was all darkness, and I remember just feeling like hell, hell itself, just like trying to pull me down, and trying to pull me down to hell, and um, I remember 
just, you know, being scared and just thinking if hell manages to pull me down, there is no hope that I'm coming back to earth. So thankfully, and um, keep in mind guys that I was paralyzed, that I could not move. I was, I was just struggling really hard to move. And um, I remember the first thing I did thankfully was just say in Jesus name. And the first time I, it didn't work because I could tell I wasn't having that much faith in it. But it was the second time where um, I was like, in Jesus' name, and boom, everything just disappeared. Only imagine that Jesus was just standing, and when I, he heard me call his name, he, was, he just rushed in and saved me from that darkness that I was feeling all around me. And um, I, for the most part, I thought it was a dream, but um, someone brought it to my attention that it could have been real, and that kind of blew my mind, but thankfully, the Lord saved me from that. And so, in this dream, I just or this message, the main message I wanted to share with you guys is that as the light of the world, as the children of Christ, we do not have to fear anything in both the physical and spiritual realm, guys, because I can't exaggerate this enough that if you truly call on the name of Jesus, He will save you. He will save you from anything that you're going through. So please, like, always let your faith be bigger than your fear, you know, so you can be sure that whatever giant you're facing, you can face it with great courage, you know, just put the armor of God and have faith in Jesus name. And yeah, so um, two messages that first one is that the rapture is truly upon us guys. It, um, you know, I know a lot of people like to rejoice that the rapture is, ha is upon us. And I can see that because, like I said, the world is in great chaos. We truly need Jesus, and we truly need the rapture to happen, you know, for all our persecuted brothers and sisters and everybody. But at the same time, there's times where I get sad that the rapture is upon us because um, this world is truly going to suffer a lot. And it's sad to say, but I know that a lot of my family will be left behind. And I... I that's just really sad to think about it and this road is gonna suffer a lot and I can only imagine how much it's gonna suffer so please pray to the Lord that you may be saved accept Christ into your heart as your Lord and Savior okay guys and just you know pray for this world pray for Israel God's nation and and pray for America you know America used to be God's nation but not any, I don't think so, not anymore, but... And then the second message is you can walk courageous knowing that the Holy Spirit watches over you, okay? Um, thank you, everybody, and I pray that may God bless you and may God keep you. I love you all. Know that Jesus loves you. Um, bye.